Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll show you how to edit curves. So the first thing you'll need is a curve. In this case, I have a connector, and I can select that connector and go to Edit Curve. Now once in here, this command provides several tools for editing, adding to, and removing curved data. In fact, we did a video not too long ago that I'll link to in the description below about adding, inserting, and deleting curve segments. And these panels look identical, okay? So they're gonna operate much the same way. So definitely check out that video for more information. But let's walk through the things that you can do. So you'll notice that I can click this arrow and cycle through all of the segments that make up this curve. I can add control points by just left clicking and you'll notice that it's highlighting where that control point will be, what section of that curve that control point will be inserted and I can just left click to insert control points. I can change the segment type so you notice that I've changed it to Catmull Rom, I can change it to Akima or Bezier if I wanted to and I can change the position of those control points by just clicking and dragging on them. And if I want to delete a control point, I can hold down the control key and click with the left mouse button to select a control point and then hit the delete button. And I can just go ahead and delete all interior by clicking that button as well. I can also change the position of the control points of that particular segment. I can go ahead and restore that as well. I can cycle through and I can delete a segment if I wish. So if I hit delete, I can go ahead and delete that segment. If I cycle through again, you'll notice that I can change the control points that make up that curve and I can even change the segment options. So for example, if I wanna change this to two points and center, I can do that. And now my control point becomes the center as well as the two points that make up that circle. I can go ahead and cycle through, again, changing the control points or adding control points, that kind of thing. Something else I can do is I can add a segment. So if I click add, it'll allow me to add a new segment to the end. So I can change that to say a line segment and go ahead and add that to the end of my curve. I can go ahead and insert segments as well. So for example, if I want to insert that round back in here, I'll cycle through until that segment is currently highlighted and anything that I insert will be before the currently selected segment. So if I click insert, I can go ahead and say that I want to insert a conic, define the control points that make up that conic and then click OK. And now I have my updated curve. So that's how you can go ahead and edit a curve. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.